and welcome to the match reaction as Everton have beaten Norwich by two goals to nil at Goodison Park in the Premier League. Um, back to winning ways after a difficult week, um, which began with a lot of injuries and um, before the Villa game, and it just seemed to take the the sting out of the the twist of momentum this week, which we've gone from a very positive start, Benitez winning all of his initial I think five games, and then. Suddenly, the injuries before Villa in it had sort of collapsed. So today was a very important game, and I thought we started well on the front foot. Um, it was sort of a four-four-two. We started with Gray in that sort of central area, pressing alongside Rondon from the front. Um, we started with intent on the front foot. A lot of a lot of our positive play was uh, was going through Lucas Dean. Uh, so he he was back on it with a better performance, I thought today. Um, um, Possibly buoyant after his goal in midweek, um, uh, so we were we were sort of penning Norwich back uh, very early on in the game. I uh, thought attacking from both wings through either Lucas Dean on the left or mainly Townsend on the right, getting crosses in. Uh, Lucas Dean made a little one-two with a Wobi, whipped it in. Uh, Rondon couldn't couldn't get on the end of it, but I, th I think the game plan was clear. Start with intensity. I think even when we were controlling the ball from defence it was one touch out of the foot and pass so no none of Michael Keane taking four or five touches on the ball it was very much control switch switch sides same with Mina and it, it was it, it sort of pinned Norwich back early on because we were clearly looking for that early goal to sort of take the pressure off um, and we didn't actually really create anything of note until um, 19 minutes when uh, Townsend had the first first real chance, uh, the Corey picked the ball up from inside his own half and drove forward. And I, I thought the Corey was brilliant today, especially in that first half. And then he capped it with his goal later on. But um, he drove the ball forward, uh, picked out um, Awobi on the left, and his ball in uh, picked out Rondon, slid it to Townsend, and his shot was weak and straight at straight at Tim Cruel. So that was. That was the first real sign of turning the Norwich defence and creating an actual chance out of it, which probably should have been a goal. Um, and then we started to, to step it up a little bit from there. Um, Damari Gray, who I thought was was influential today, especially in those, uh, just in that sort of number 10 position where you control in these tech. When, when a team's sitting back in such a low block, that first touch that he has, and those little touches are, are so key to actually being able to play football in the opposition half. Um, he's a little bit unpredictable as well. He stood a defender up, um, took him on, which is great to see. An Everton player finally actually running at running at the defence and taking them on. And he fired across goal, uh, which came to nothing. And then a few minutes later was the penalty incident. So... Um, uh, it came again from the left-hand side. Lucas Dean found Awobi, Awobi to Gray, then into Allen. Um, and he was lucky, really. Just got there before, and um, Kabak, ex-Red Shite, just he caught him. It was it, it was a blatant penalty. It, at, at the start, it, it looked a bit soft. Um, as the replays were coming up, you think, if he's caught him like that, there's nothing the referee can do, ultimately. They took ages with the VAR, and... Um, but as soon as you saw the contact, yeah, he goes down a bit easily, but it, it's a penalty all day. Um, and uh, Townsend versus Cruel for the penalty, that was quite interesting. Cruel was trying to put him off, saying, you go in that side, you go in that side. Uh, you could see Townsend giving the eyes if he was going to hit it in the bottom uh, bottom right corner. Um, but he did what he did against QPR and, and smashed it the other way, sent the keeper the wrong way. Uh, so it's impressive to see Townsend yet again. And he's come in and he's an instant leader. And without Calvert Lewin and Richarlison to fight over the penalty, he stepped up and uh, and put it away. This is exactly exactly what we needed. And that you just felt like okay, we've dominated we've dominated the game up to that point really without creating much. Um, but you just felt that's what we needed. You didn't want this game to tick into the second half, sixty minutes, seventy minutes without without that deadlock broken. So that that was um, a, a a big relief really to to get that one. Um, to get that to go one nil up, um, so minutes later Rondon flicked one on. Awobi looked like he could be away. He, he put Gray in. Gray sort of held it and then uh, pushed it back onto the right hand side. His shot was uh, was headed out for a corner. Um, so we were we were sort of 
pressing immediately to try and carry that momentum as we did against Burnley to get another one. Um, but then as we got into the last five minutes of the first half, it, it was a little bit disappointing and it sort of set the trend for the second half. We, having dominated that first 40 minutes, we just seemed to put our foot off the gas and allow Norwich to sort of grow and have a shout in the game. You know, like uh, they had a shot from about 30 odd yards out, which Pickford had to save. And then immediately from a goal kick we had, we lost possession on the edge of our own box. And I think that just probably sent Norwich into into the dressing room thinking, listen, we're we're in this game. And so I thought that came from our own complacency, really, which was a bit of uh, a sign of the second half. Um, but again, we did start off the second half sort of as we started the first um, in control um, without really creating any serious chances. Towns ended a nice Cruyff turn on the edge of the box and a right-footed shot just wide. Um, but a couple of minutes after that, um, Norwich broke broke from, uh, I think it was a corner for us. Uh, Pucky was nearly in, Mina dealt with that, and Decore gave it away cheaply, and um, they had a shot, um, I can't remember his name, Norman. <laughs> uh, good effort, Pickford, if it was further in the corner, I think it's unsavable, but Pickford, really strong save out for a corner there, um, which... I mean, when we saw Pickford's name on the team sheet, I don't know about you, but um, I was made up because Begovic is really not being inspiring any confidence for me. Um, probably a bit too harsh to call the man a hologram, which I think I did on, on the phone to my dad this morning. But um, just Pickford being in there, um, I think it just gave that confidence, really, and probably to the defenders as well in front of him. Um, but then I think... After that save, I think Norwich just grew into it and thought, I think they thought there was a, a point in this for them. They started to play um, with a bit more confidence in our half. We dropped noticeably deeper. Um, that Max Ahrens, their right back, was um, was looking threatening when he had a chance to run at Lucas Dean. And that that's Dean's sort of potential um, downfall is defensively when he's got someone with pace running at him. He gave away um, a free kick and got booked for it. And uh, they just, it, you could feel the nerves um, creeping around Goodison Park at that time. Uh, they won after that free kick. Gibson was unmarked for them. Uh, right in front of goal, six yards out. He just didn't make the contact on the header. And I think if it goes 1-1, I mean, um, it's sort of almost what we were half expecting from Everton today to, to have a moment of struggle anyway. Um, I was anyway. Um, but... It didn't really, it didn't really materialise for Norwich. Um, you just got the feeling we needed that second. Uh, there was a moment when Brandon Williams, their left back, I think he's on loan from Man United. He he put the ball past get Ben Godfrey, and you're thinking, you no chance you're going to get eaten up here. But he he did. He knocked Ben Godfrey off balance, and he did him for pace. And, and Mina again, who I thought was brilliant today, covered defensively really well. Um, it just started to become nervy. They forced a free kick. Pickford goes down with his shoulder injury. There's 13 minutes left at that point, and you're thinking, "Oh no!" It, you know, it, it wasn't. <clears throat> it it did start to creep in a bit of nerves at this point, um, but Pickford did stay on. Um, we brought Gordon on at that point, and then about a minute later, we we were two 0 up, and the game was over. And Decore, who was absolutely brilliant in the first half. He uh, he got he got the goal uh, to put the the sort of gloss on this performance. Uh, Damari Gray received it. I think it was I think he received it on the turn. He was running at the defence, um, and he just slipped Decore in, who worked so hard all game that he was just everywhere. So of course it was him running in the sort of centre forwards position to to finish this off, even ahead of Anthony Gordon who'd just come on. Uh, good finish beyond cruel. Gladys Street into raptures. You could feel the relief, and I thought, you know, we can actually enjoy the last 12 minutes of this game, um, which we did, and, and Benitez did something I wasn't sure if he would do and actually bring a couple of, of youngsters on then. Well, he'd already brought in Gordon on, but, you know, it was good to see Dobbin as well, and um, even Tom Davis giving another go. Um, you know, Damari Gray got a, a good reception when Davis came on, deservedly so, and... Um, it should have been 3-0. We had a corner, flicked on, Ben Godfrey right in the middle of the goal, right in the six-yard box. We 
got to be like four yards out or something. He has to score. You could say a great save from Tim Krul, but I, mean, I don't know how he doesn't score there. He has to score. He has to score that. Um, but that, that was it, really. I think Norwich didn't really threaten, apart from when they started to build for that 20 minutes before we got the second. And we really did need that second. Uh, and it killed it off. And it's it's 2-0. It's three points. And it was really vital today. I think we knew this going into this game with the injuries we've had. No Calvert-Lewin, Richarlison, uh, Pickford struggling, um, Coleman as well. Um, so some really key players missing here. And with Man United next week, we just needed the three points here to sort of take the edge off um, next week's game, really. Uh, Man United lost today, so they'll be looking to bounce back. So I think it's a bit of a free hit for Everton, that really. I think Benitez is going to have to put a game plan in to frustrate them and see what we can do on the counter going the other way. Um, I'm not sure I'm, uh, if, if Rondon would be the right choice for that game, but we have no real choice now. Um, with the with the lack of pace that he offers really but it's a bit of a free hit then get into the international break get these players back um, because we'll be a completely different side with with those three or four players that have been out injured um, but to those that did play today they got over the line did the job what we needed uh, three points so happy days um, and sit back and enjoy enjoy a Brentford victory now and then uh, it might be worth sticking match of the day on this week. Although I don't think this game is going to be high up in that priority there. Um, but uh, please like and subscribe. And uh, be sure to check out their player ratings video, which is coming up as well. So cheers and up the toffees. Three points, happy days.